He says it's a bad deal. Because what's at stake in King versus Borwell case? Yeah. That's the one you need to read. I have a few not, but, uh, I, I think I, I would say that with Senator Hendren being <coughs> the nephew of the governor, that's where we're headed to something that there's a little dance and delay. And I'm sorry, but that's what I look at. Look at the private option bill being passed, which is a little dance and delay. And, uh, and Mary Bentley's bill, gosh, if you could get out to that before, uh, before any kind of snow, that'd be a great thing. I know she'd appreciate uh, seeing you in the room. She has a hard way to go. She has six sponsors on that committee. There's 20 members of the committee. Uh, everybody else except one guy who probably lost. But everybody else voted for the exchange. So that sounds bad. But on the other hand, 11 of the 39 sponsors of Mary Benton's bill voted for the exchange. So just because you voted for it last time doesn't mean you're going to make a mistake in this time. So yeah, if it can get out of committee, uh, it's, it's a big help. But uh, yeah, the yeah. tomorrow, tomorrow at nine, nine morning. That's the uh, insurance and commerce committee. It's ten to split. Yeah, it's ten Democrats, ten two Republicans. I heard today that there are two Democrats that are. Leaning. Right. I know yeah. one of them is in a conservative, conservative uh, district, got elected, and his opponents already announced that he's going to run against them again, so he may need to vote uh, against, against it. But it's, it's going to be a tough thing. I figure Hendren's a big one to come out and not really help us in 